So now that we've learned how to use mail merge, we're going to go ahead and learn how to create other types of mail merges that might not be a document or a letter. This is super useful when you're trying to create lots of mailings or name tags or labels for things. And label sheets are kind of fascinating because they have a sticky piece to them and they're usually laid out in a different format. So what I want to show you is first you need this mailing addresses document so, or Excel spreadsheet. So if you have this, you're good to go. And then we're going to go into Word and we're going to go to mailings. We're going to start the mail merge just like we did before, but this time we're not going to use the wizard. Um, I want to show you how to use just the ribbon without opening the wizard. The wizard is great if you um, don't remember what the mail merge is or how to do it. You can also see that there's envelopes and labels here, um, but we're going to do it straight from start mail merge. So under start mail merge, we're going to click labels. And when you do that, a dialog box will appear. And the dialog box will ask you what type of label page are you choosing? So in this case, we can choose label vendors. Now, these are the companies right here that are actually creating label sheets. So you can see like 3M Post-it is there, Microsoft creates some, you've got tons of different companies, Staples, that's a company you know that creates their own label sheets, um, and uh, Office Depot, any of those office supply chains. And then one of the most common ones is Avery. Avery um, creates two types. They have ones that are eight and a half by 11 pages, which is US letter. And then ones that are A4 by A5, which is a smaller page size. So we're going to choose Avery US letter. And when we do that, you can actually see that there are so many. If you scroll through here, there are tons of labels that you can pick from, like, tons of labels, whether they are index dividers or whether they are table of contents or their mailing address labels or name tags, so many different things. When you're in here, you just click in the product number box and you can actually type in the product number that's available to you. So we're gonna choose 5160. And then when you do that, you can see how big the address label is. So it's one inch by 2.63 inches wide and it's on an eight and a half by 11 page. When you click OK to create this, you're going to see that it will pop in a table. If you see up here, you have a table design tab and a table layout tab now that you probably didn't notice popped up right away, but you have a table. This table has um, grid lines that are dashed because these grid lines won't print. So if we go to like the layout tab here, um, you can see that view grid lines is on and if you turn it off, they disappear, but the table still exists. If you look at your ruler, you can see it. And if you go back and you view grid lines, you can see it again. You can see that this table not only has a bunch of rows and columns, but it has these small little columns in here and those are the gaps between the labels. So what's great about these different companies like Office Depot, Staples, Microsoft, Avery, all these companies, they create templates essentially so that way when you print this this box will line up on one of the labels and then there's a gap in between so every one of them is different um, depending on what type of label you are picking but now that we have our label template selected we can now start our mail merge process